unboxing ASMR. Hey guys, welcome back to GTV Studios. We actually found a name for our podcast. It is going to be the Medium Rare Podcast. Because it's not completely raw footage. Like, we have somewhat of an idea of what we're doing. But it's not, like, salmonella raw. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's, like, just medium rare. Yeah, that joke was better on paper. It really was, wasn't it? But we did it anyway. <laughs> yes, we did. That's yeah. what we're here for. Um, so, our, so for our medium rare podcast, we are going to be doing one topic in episode. All right. So today, we are going to be talking about something that has been going on in Eastern Asia that could possibly be moving to North America. Okay, so basically, uh, Singapore and China and countries around that area have been using technology uh, by the government that has basically been tracking people that have um, the pandemic, and uh, they're it's trying to help people understand where it is, how to avoid it, and the people around it, uh, and. Google and Apple have are also trying to implement that sort of idea into North America. And that's what we're going to be talking about today. They're calling this technology contact tracing. And contact tracing is a technology that allows people t to tell when someone that is tested positive is in a public vicinity. Yeah, so with this new technology, obviously there's been some controversy over public privacy, but also like the health of others. And so we're just like trying to get our thoughts about it. Um, so Will, what are your thoughts about the whole thing? Do you think maybe uh, it's kind of scary to have your information with these big companies like Apple and Google, or do you think it's like good or whatever? Um, I think that so obviously this is happening right now in like eastern asia so like china singapore and other countries there and i think it's working really well there but i don't think that it should be brought to north america and especially not run by big companies like apple and google because i think especially here in north america we really have a thing for like people's rights and everything and not saying that's you know not a thing over at eastern asia it's just I feel like that's much more prevalent here because they're very different places. And but I think the biggest problem is that having big companies like Apple and Google run it is really dangerous, especially for, you know, privacy reasons. I think if, you, if, it, sh if it should be run by anyone, it should be, um, you know, governments and people, you know, in charge, not just, you know, people that own companies. Yeah, because it's like not even if you like agree with the government or not, it's just would you rather have like a like government rooted system rather than a com like rather than a big like profit company exactly so it's like kind of it's hard to tell what the issues are but i think it is it is working great in those places so i'm sure it's i'm sure it's a great idea and stuff yeah. but obviously there's those those concerns with pub with privacy and what what stuff goes aware of yours and obviously it's very scary. I mean, within like the past couple decades, it's gone, it's, that's all of our lives now, yeah. mostly. And so people, you know, people wanna make sure that the stuff doesn't go everywhere. But also with this pandemic, it, this has also been our lives for the past one, two months. Yeah. So it depends on what people are willing to do to get out of this pandemic, to be able to, go somewhere do something you know yeah and i think that's when i read the article i first i was thinking you know this is a great idea you know it'll solve this faster this problem faster and you know it's just a great idea but the reason that i disagree with it coming to north america is because we need to think of the potential aftermath of what this could cause because if we have big companies like apple and google uh running um, you know, this whole thing, and then the pandemic ends. Now they have all this information about so many people, and that's really dangerous, because, mm -hmm. I mean, they're companies, and, the, you know, the main goal about companies is to make a profit, and they can use that to their advantage. And so, because Google is an advertiser, they can make a lot of money off of this, because they can have a bunch of information that obviously a lot of companies need so that they can direct their ads towards the people that they want. And so it's, it's, it's like what people are willing to sacrifice um, right now to be able to do them, some things. Are they willing to sacrifice having, 
I don't know, are they willing to sacrifice having companies like Google take all of their information with uh, targeted ads at specific pe- at like specific people like you and me? And it just it's crazy either depending on the outcome or what people say to this, it's crazy to think what can happen with just like one month of not doing anything because of how much technology has engrossed us. Yeah. Not even, not even, just like going out and stuff. I don't know. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching our video. Uh, those were just our opinions uh, on the topic. Uh, thank you guys for watching Medium Rare Podcast. Yeah. Uh, and you should be sure to liggity like, uh, kibbity comment, and Sibbity sibbity shmoobity subscribe. Yes. There we go. All of those things. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we are going to be trying to keep our videos on like the shorter side, maybe around like five ish minutes. Yeah. Um so yeah, hopefully that was the outcome of this video. Yeah, that was <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, bye guys. Bye.